Welcome to part two of the Sony NPF 18650 battery pack build. In part one, you saw me design all the parts in CAD and then make all the parts in my shop. In part two, we're going to take all those parts, assemble them together, and get a working battery pack. Thank you for taking the time to join me and hope you enjoy the process. So let's get started. So a quick update, um, this awful design trying to get these really thick wires through did not fare that well. So out of that design I printed a new one, modified the contacts a little bit so they're three millimeters all the way through instead of having a step at the end and I used a smaller gauge wire and had nice smooth channels that go through the part so you just slide them through and then there are two slots that go along the case that these wires now can fit in. So that's the update. We're gonna jump back into it. The last couple of things I have to do are
super happy with the way that this build turned out. Had a couple problems with the first design, dealing with the wires and the contacts, but got all that figured out. Everything fit together snugly, no post machining to the plastic parts, everything came off the printer nice and clean, fit together perfect, as perfect as you can expect from the printer. Fully functioning. Lights on, pop it out, install it back in, and it works. Here is my field monitor, uses the same pack, Whoops. snaps in on the side, and it is working. 7.5 volt, 18650 battery pack. Now I need to make three more of these for my key light and the rest of my light. So I'll have four battery packs that I can just leave in each device, and I can just switch out the batteries as needed. One thing I will be working on is a quicker way to switch out the batteries. I'm gonna get rid of the two screws in this and come up with some kind of like sliding, clicking, snapping, popping, some kind of tab mechanism maybe. If everything continues to go well, I will probably pull out these four screws and just glue the base on. That way it's a nice clean look. So maybe I'll do a video of the update to that in the future once I get everything worked out. But for now, here's my battery pack, six 18650s, went to the NPF connector on the back. As always, thank you for joining me as I design and build this, and I will see you on the next project. Bye.